Thank you for watching this episode of Devar Malchus. We are on page 171 as we look at the talk of the Rebbe from Monday the 28th of Sivan 5751 to the Hasidim that blessed him. This is the Jubilee, the 50th anniversary of the rescue of the Rebbe Shlita and the Rebbitzin from European Valley of Tears and their successful arrival to America on Monday the 28th of Sivan 5701, which translates to 1941. This was after the Mincha prayer, and then it was continued after Mara. The special quality of a materialist day, which the whole day is called a materialist day because of a good thing that happened on that day, even when the good thing that happened only in a particular time of the day, in the beginning, middle, or end, is hinted in the name and number of the month. And in our case, the 28th of Sivan, Chav Ches, 28, spells Koach, power, a month, of a month denotes the power of the entire month, and the 28th of Sivan denotes the power of the entire third month, which is unique due to it being the month of the giving of the Torah, which is especially connected to the third month, as we shall soon explain, namely that the Maturious Day of the 28th of Sivan denotes the strength of the giving of the Torah, as it also alludes to in the number of the day 28. <coughs> True power, according to the Torah, is connected to the number three, Three times three is Hazak, established fact. And as the verse says, and the trifold string will not rip that quickly. Three represents a lasting and eternal strength, the power of permanent matter, the ultimate completeness of power. Strength of three itself is three times three times three. Chaf, Zion, 27, the letter of Zach, pure, which we have in a complete way on the 28th day, which follows immediately after the completeness of 27, three times three times three. And may we say that this is one of the reasons why the giving of the Torah was given in the third month and is connected to the number three. As the words of our sages, blessed is Hashem, who gave a trifold Torah to a trifold nation by a third born on the third day of the third month. And Rabbi Nisam Gon enumerates, enumerates more the aspect of three in connection with the giving of the Torah, since through the giving of the Torah, a koach, power, and endurance and strength was infused to the Jewish people and the entire creation, and is known that the decree divided between the upper realms and the lowest realms was nullified, and we were given the power to draw and reveal godliness, the upper realm in the world, this lowest world, lowest which has no lower than it, to the extent that it will permeate the existence of the world in an internalized way, and the matter of the world themselves shall become a holy object. And just to note that birth was the birth of Moshe Rabbeinu being the third, the third child born to his parents. And after Aaron and, and uh, or after Miriam and Aaron. And on the contrary, the Torah was given at the giving of the Torah, specifically in this lower world, which where there is no lower than it, to the extent that it is not in heaven, since the main power and strength of godliness is clearly evident, specifically in the physicality of this world, in the lowest of which there is no lower, and specifically through the service of the below is drawing forth the essence of Hashem accomplished to the extent that through elevating the lowest and whole building is lifting up also the highest levels of the gradational descent of the light of Hashem. And the complete revelation of the power of the third month, the power of the giving of the Torah is Koach 27, Sivan. When we have the completeness of the three times three times three days in the third month, we will understand this based on the connection of the Parsha of Shlach, which we read last Shabbos, which blessed the 28th of Sivan in most years. Shlach, send for your people, and they will tour the land of Canaan, referring to the sending of the spies by Moshe to see the land in order to ease the, in ease the entering and conquering of the land. And being that this was the shlichas mission of Moshe through a, in a manner of send for you, I am not commanding you, rather you on your own accord. This, however, according to the das, literal opinion of Moshe, that Hashem testifies that it is according to your opinion, according to the opinion of Moshe, especially that his unique quality in general is das. <clears throat> It is understood that the mission from the perspective of the opinion of Moshe certainly was fulfilled, and this actually made it easier for them afterward to conquer and enter Eretz Yisrael, the land of Israel, as it happened through Yeshua, the student and successor of Moshe. This phenomenon in the service of Hashem, every Jew needs to conquer his portion of the world in the lowest world and make it into Eretz Yisrael, in the known words, to make Hashem a dwelling 
below and in other <coughs> and in order to fulfill this easily we have the mission of Vayeshuru and Tuar the land of Canaan as explanation of this that Vareshu in the idiom Fureshan and the advantage of the land is in everything the advantage that there is specifically in the land the lowest realms more than in the heaven and in the level of above as known that specifically the land there is in the power of growth something from nothing which is drawn from the level that is above and below the gradational descent of the light of hashem and especially through the service in the land in refining the refinements of this physical world which through this there is an advantage an advantage of light from darkness and the spiritual source of matters land in the sephria of malchus which has in as an advantage over the sephirot that are above it moreover the advantage of the land is in having coal everything malchus has in it the coal sephirot of yisod which includes in it coal the sephirot before it and the advantage of malchus is accomplished through the drawing forth of coal all the sephirot that are included in the sephirot yisod in the land of Malchus. However, afterward, when it is drawn into Malchus, the advantage of Malchus in comparison to all the Sephiroth is revealed. A woman of valor is the crown of her husband, an immeasurably higher advantage than the other Sephiroth that are above Malchus to the extent that it becomes the advantage of the land is in everything that the Bacall is openly manifested specifically in Malchus as known that the purpose of Malchus is to bring out everything in a revealed and complete way in a firm and enduring manner since the power and strength of godliness is revealed specifically in and through the land and the refinement of the lowest which is sourced in Malchus the last Sephiroth moreover the source of the worlds of Berea, Yetzirah and Asiya to the extent that this elevates all the levels above as mentioned above and this is the meaning of the Yeshru S. Eretz Canaan. Through the service of a Jew in the Eretz land of Canaan specifically, he reveals the Yeshron virtue that was that there is the land Yeshron, Yeshron Yeretz Bakol He, which this gives the power to conquer and go into the land and settle there in a permanent way, including to make there in the lowest realms a dwelling for Hashem. Based on this, we can understand the connection to the 28th of Sivan, which is blessed by Shabbos, the Parsha of Shlach, when the Koach of the third month is clearly revealed, the power that was given at the giving of the Torah to accomplish and reveal the virtue in land, Riyashru Eretz Bakol He, which gives us the ability to make from it a dwelling for Hashem. From this, we have a special lesson. For these recent generations, there is no explanation in what Caleb said in the Parsha Shlach. Ascend, we shall ascend. To ascend, similar to, and I will lift you out, indeed lift you out. That this refers to the two ascents. The first ascend from the ex Egyptian exile into Eretz Israel and the building of the, mission of the base of Migdash. And the second ascend from the final exile into Eretz Israel in the true and complete redemption and the building of the third base of Migdash, the eternal one. And just as the days you left Egypt, I will show them wonders just as the main purpose of the Egyptian exile was in order to receive the Torah, the giving of the Torah, the revealed part of the Torah, so too this entire long exile is to merit the revelation of the deep aspect of the Torah that will be in the time to come. As Rashi explains, the words he pours, he will pour on me from the kisses of his mouth. We are promised by Hashem that he will reveal himself to us again to explain to us its secret reasons and hidden treasures. And being that there has been the phenomenon of those who tasted merit life at the end of the sixth millennia, heir of Shabbos of the redemption. Therefore, <clears throat> there is the revelation of the deeper realm of the Torah and the spreading of the wellsprings outward in the second half of the sixth millennia, beginning with the Baal Shem Tov and the Magid, the general doctrine of Hasidim. And afterwards, in the matter of vestment and wisdom, understanding and knowledge, the doctrine of the Chabad Hasidim, through the Alter Rebbe, and especially after the redemption of the 19th of Kislev, in the third month of the winter month, similar to the month of Sivan, the month of the giving of the Torah, the third month of the summer months, and our Rebbe's, our leaders, his successors, with the revelations of the teachings of Hasidim in the beginning, at least a taste, however, a taste of the whole thing, as a little taste of the revelation of the deeper realm of the Torah of the time to come. 
And just as the giving of the Torah in the third month was given the power for Yeshru as Haaretz in general, namely to transform this lowest world to the extent that the world will assist and reveal godliness, similarly is also accomplished through and revealed of the inner dimension of Torah and the spreading of the wellsprings outward, especially in the manner of vestment and understanding Chabad in human intellect including in the intellect of the animal soul and even in worldly intellect with this which this gives the power and the nature of the word and the matters below shall be vessels for godliness and on the contrary through the revelation of the inner dimension of the torah in the sixth millennium an innovation is reached regarding the giving of the torah that we receive a yet deeper power to reveal godliness in the world more than was in a revealed way at the giving of the torah only that this was also given in the potential and in hidden at the giving of the Torah similar to all that a veteran student will innovate was given to Moshe at Mount Sinai through the giving of the revealed part of the Torah which was mainly given uh, that's Galea Derisa which was mainly at the giving of the Torah we received mainly the power to reveal the revealed aspects of Hashem and the revealed aspects of the Jewish people and through this also the revealed aspects of godliness in the world through the revelation of the hidden part of the Torah we receive received the power to reveal the hidden aspects of Hashem and the hidden aspects of the Jewish people and through this the hidden aspects of godliness in the world the highest levels of godliness which are hidden in the land the advantage of the land is in everything including the power of the essence of Hashem which is in specifically this physical world which he alone has the power and ability to create something from nothing this phenomenon that the revelation of the Hasidic teachings give the power to reveal godliness in the world with advanced vigor and greater strength is emphasized in the wording spread your wellsprings outward we have spoken many times that every one of these three words express a complete aspect and explanation of the content of the service and being terms in the Torah every term expressed the true and complete content of the term spread truly and in a complete way your well springs truly and completely in outward and truly and completely what is the meaning of outward in its completeness seemingly outside is the exact opposite of completeness which is only in the inside in holiness and godliness the explanation of this being that outward is a term that the Torah of truth is de it denotes the true content of the outside as mentioned above which in truth there is nothing outside of Hashem heaven forbid as it says there is nothing besides him for there is nothing more and when it says in the Torah the terms outward it means the truth of the outside of the outside reveals godliness and on the contrary specifically in and through the outside lowest with regard to the concealment of Hashem's life light rather is evident clearly and openly in the true and complete way the truth of godliness that there is nothing besides for him even in the outside similar to the virtue of miracles that are clothed in nature and the power to reveal this in the outside is through spreading your wellsprings the spreading of the wellsprings of the inner dimension of Torah truly and completely as such that the virtue and high power of the outside is revealed namely that it helps and reveals godliness and on the contrary in a higher way than it the inside and may we say that the power for this came from the imprisonment and redemption of the altar Rebbe on the 19th of Kislev in the third month as known in the talks of our Rebbe's our leaders that then began the main phenomenon of spreading the wellsprings outward in connection with his redemption. The Alter Rebbe writes, When I read the book of Tehillim, the verse, Redeem my soul in peace, I went out in peace, which be therefore the Hasidim used the song of Padash Bashalom Nefshi, Redeem my soul in peace, in connection with the redemption. And when we say that the explanation regarding the connection of Redeem my soul in peace, with the redemption and beginning of the main stage of the spreading of the wellsprings outward after redeem my soul in peace it says for among the many there were with me which this denotes the general phenomenon that the rabbim many and the rush habayim public domain of the whole world the world of undesirable division assumes a state of they were with me that not only do we need to put great effort or at least do something that the many shall not disturb rather on the contrary the many are with me to the extent that this helps helps yet more in the private domain of the one of the only one of the world that 
it be a height of perfection, and truly so to the most literal sense as mentioned above. And therefore this accomplishes, redeem my soul in peace, that the release and the redemption is a peaceful manner without any war, similar to how it was in the days of Shlomo, that all the nations were nullified to Shlomo without any war, to the extent that they helped him with me, and therefore he is called by the name Shlomo, since there was peace in his days, to the extent that this redeem my soul refers to the ultimate completeness of peace, that those who were previously opposers become truly friendly to each other, and will be the true and complete redemption, as the verse says, then I will transform the nations, in plural, to have a clear tongue, to serve him as one, as the Mittler Rebbe explains. <clears throat> in the systematic progress of the spreading of the wellsprings outward itself, through our Rebbe's, our leaders, there were a number of levels and stages during the seven, 79 generations from the Baal Shem Tov and the Alter Rebbe until this seven rather, seven to nine generations from the Baal Shem Tov and Alter Rebbe until this generation. That's nine generations from the Baal Shem Tov and seven generations from the Alter Rebbe. After the Alter Rebbe who lived in Lezana and Liadi, our Rebbe's, our leaders, were a number of generations in Lubavitch. And afterward, in the seventh generation to the Baal Shem Tov, they relocated to Rostov. And afterward, Leningrad, or Petersburg, as it used to be called. And afterward in Poland until the final stage, the arrival in America in the lowest hemisphere and there itself in several places until coming to the place, the building in which we find ourselves now, the synagogue and study hall of Lubavitch in 770 as it is called. We, clear, we see clearly that although in these generations and places there was the revelation of Hasidim and spreading the wellsprings outward, yet specifically in the lower hem lowest hemisphere, where the giving of the Torah did not take place in an open way, there was the revelation of Hasidim and the spreading of the wellsprings outward with advanced, bigger, and greater strength more than in the generations and places before this, including it reaching outward, of which there is no further outward than it, as one can easily see. And for the reason for this, similar to the above explained regarding the giving of the Torah, specifically below, since specifically in the lowest is the revelation of the advantage of the land is everything and similar it's understood after the giving of the torah itself that specifically in the low in the lower hemisphere where the living of the torah did not take place in a revealed way transpires the complete revelation of the advantage of the land is in everything the completeness the revelation of the torah and the inner dimension of the torah in a complete manner of spreading the wellsprings outward as this also hinted in the number of addresses of the building, the center of Lubavitch, in the lower hemisphere, from where light is spreading to the whole entire world, with the spreading of the wellsprings outward. 770, as known, that 770 in the numerical value of Parazan, the Jews have published as the Jews have publicized. And we say that the connection and manner of seven denotes the completeness of the seven-day cycle, the seven attributes, the godly flow in all levels from Chesed until Malchus, and the completeness of seven is a hundred times seven, seven hundred, together with ten times seven, seventy, which together seven, seventy, and therefore it is the numerical value of Paraza. Since the completeness of Paraza, the Paraza breaking all limitations, time and place, Ufaratza, and you will spread out east, west, east, north, and south, including in the manner of Paraza, within Paraza, and not through leaving time and place, rather on the contrary, specifically in and through the completeness of time and place. 770, the completeness of the number 7, 770. In other words, together with the fact that we have breaking through, reaching beyond limitations, Paraza, we also have the place and time as the law is simply that the place and building must have four walls and a roof and ceiling, etc., only that in the time and place itself, in the manner of Paratza, and the contrary, specifically, time and place below accomplishes the completeness of the phenomenon of breaking through, as mentioned above, similar to what is said about Yerushalayim, and that Yerushalayim will reside with no wall. Together with this, I will be for it a wall of fire around it, and the place 770 numerical value of Paratza becomes the source <coughs> and empowerment for spreading the wellsprings outward to the whole entire world as such that we accomplish the paraza that the spreading of the wellsprings in the outside including in the outside of which there is no further out than it 
as such that we reveal there the advantage of the land is everything <coughs> and to add the culmination and completeness of 70 70 years of my revered father-in-law rabbi was specifically in the lower hemisphere in 770 where it came where he came and lived during the last 10 years of his life and this gives power afterward to the seventh generation following it corresponds to separate of Malchus, that there be completeness the revelation of 70 10 times 7 together with 700 a hundred times seven 770 and the completeness of the revelation and the advantage of the land Malchus is in every thing yes sir and based on this of the above spoken it's understood the matter is openly manifested on the 28th of Sivan which reveals the power of the month of the third month and the power of the trifold Torah the power of the trifold nation and the matters of three connecting to the giving of the Torah as Rav Nisam Gon enumerates and in general the power of Malchus and the advantage of the land is everything which reveals everything completely and in an enduring manner three times three times three and specifically in the physical world and the materialized way mamish based on the above the content of shlichus shalach send for you for this generation is understood although we find ourselves in this lowest world in exile in this final exile and within it itself the lower hemisphere the place of the majority of the number of the majority of the structure of jewish people in our time indeed on contrary specifically through in the low state and the place of exile including in the lowest which there is no lower than it is accomplished the greatest ascend and of all the levels and generations before the higher than this including also the aspect of the upper hemisphere an exceedingly lofty generation the generation of knowledge of Moshe Rabbeinu and the like including the ascent of the true and complete redemption a redemption for the whole entire world also the upper hemisphere and for all generation and as known the world Gula redemption is re is formed specifically through the word Gola exile with the addition of an olive since redemption is drawn into and comes from the, through the service of inserting the olive a loaf Shalem Olam, the master of the universe in exile, Gola, and being that the redemption comes specifically from the lowest state, therefore it also accomplishes that it should be a true and complete redemption, an internal, rede an internal redemption, with no exile after it, upon which we say Shir Hadash, a new song, in masculine terms, not like the redemption before it, but had an interruption afterwards, and specifically through it coming from the lowest, it is true state and Completeness revealed that it is an enduring matter and in the revealed way specifically the advantage of the separate of Malchus whose concept is revelation in the lasting way as above we will which will be revealed through Mashiach a king of the dynasty of David as known that the innovation of the redemption is the revelation of godliness below in this world of which there is no lower than it a dwelling for the essence of Hashem in the lowest realms which in a dwelling of the essence is revealed and may we say that this is also the root of the world Gula and Gola in terms of Giuli revelation and may we say that this was just as this in regarding the general manner of exile and redemption so too this is regarding the specific place in which we find ourselves in the lowest hemisphere that being that this the small mikdash is the place where my revered father-in-law the rebbe leader of our generation set his place as the source for spreading the wellsprings outward to the entire world specifically in and from the place is accomplished the redemption and building of the third base of mikdash the mikdash that your hands O hashem established for although its place is in the Holy Land, in Yerushalayim, the Holy City, on the mountain, yet being that this is accomplished through our accomplishments and our service throughout the time of exile, and especially in the end of the time of exile, through the service of spreading your wellsprings outward, we have in this place, and specifically in this place, the complete preparation for the Migdash that your hands, O Hashem, established. To the extent that in this place there immediately is the revelation of the Migdash that your hands, O Hashem, established, which in this my revered father-in-law, the Rebbe, leader of our generation, can demand and accomplish that the first and foremost there will be the revelation of the Migdash that your hands, O Hashem, established in this place, 770, where he lived and he did his work through the last 10 years of his life culmination of all his work as mentioned above and specifically through the conclusion of the service in the lowest hemisphere rather the lower hemisphere including in the lowest we elevate and reveal the whole building of the migdash that your hands o hashem have established 
O Hashem established, including the roof of the building which King Mashiach stands on the roof of the base of Migdash and announces to the Jewish people and says, Humble ones, the time of your redemption has come. This is all elevated and accomplished in the service, elevation of the lowest, and literally immediately all Jews come with the clouds of the heaven and with our young and with our old and with our sons and our daughters relocate to our holy land together with the third base of Migdash which we have there and we take this all together with us together with their silver and their gold with them the service of the love of Hashem and fear of Hashem which is included in the positive commandments and all the negative commandments the lesson from this being present in an auspicious time and place in the third month a trifold house a house of Torah prayer and good deeds the trifold string of Torah service and kind deeds and within this time itself in the day of the 28th of Sivan when the strength of the whole third month is openly revealed three times three times three whose concept is the drawing forth and revelation of godliness below in a permanent way every Jew receives an additional power and strength to fulfill the shlichas of our generation who have the shlichas and command of my revered father-in-law, the rabbi leader of our generation, that we have to all stand prepared to receive the true and complete redemption. And at their head, Moshiach, David, king of the Jewish people, and being with the shlichas of the generation, innovation of the veteran student of our generation, which everything that a veteran student will innovate was given to Moshe from Sinai, he has understood that when an even small child says in our times that he anticipates the demands that Mashiach should come, this is a true innovative idea in Torah, including that this becomes a part of the innovation insight in Torah, which will come forth from me, from Hashem himself, since Hashem agrees to the words and requests the Jewish people. Children are the Jewish people and I love them. And Hashem reveals his love literally in the most simple sense, in a manner that it's beyond limits. And together with this, revealed down here below in the lowest world, which there is no lower than it. All this is enhanced even more through giving everyone a shlichas. We make every one of those found here a shlicha mitzvah to give tzedakah through giving him a dollar bill to give tzedakah and then he adds even more from his own the great tzedakah from it hesitate for it has and great is tzedakah for it hastens the redemption including hastening in the manner that there is not even one free second rather right from being here together as one person with one heart as this already was the Rosh Chodesh Sivan and from Rosh Chodesh it is drawn down into all the days of the month and most certainly on the 28th of it the day that it is Koach for the whole month we go to the Holy Land and immediately moreover and mainly Mamish in a manner of Mamish material materialized being with the revelation of the part of Hashem above and as the Alter Rebbe adds Mamish and specifically as souls and bodies moreover with an addition in health of the body and health of the soul and also in the health of the entire world including that it is revealed how the whole world is created every single moment from nothing by the essence of Hashem through Torah he looked into the Torah and created the world moreover and mainly from speaking about all these manners which is connected to the speech of Hashem which the speech of Hashem is considered an action it becomes the action of Hashem which the main action of his is to immediately bring down and reveal with all its meaning the truth and complete literal immediately in the simple sense and they prayed Marav and after the prayer the Rebbe Shita continued in addition to the fact that the 28th of Sivan is continuation of the 27th Zach Sivan, as mentioned above, which is the affiliated mainly with the service of a Jew in the world, including the lowest hemisphere, it is also a preparation and introduction of the day following at the 29th of Sivan, era of Rosh Chodesh Tammuz, which is affiliated mainly with the unity of the Jew with Hashem, which comes through the power and the service of the 20th of Sivan. The idea is as follows. On Erev Rosh Chodesh, the light of the moon becomes completely concealed to a preparation for the birth of the moon of Rosh Chodesh. And as the wording of the verse, through your place being vacant, concealment of the moon, on Erev Rosh Chodesh, tomorrow is Rosh Chodesh, you are remembered, transpires the birth of the moon of Rosh Chodesh, the union of the sun and the moon. And in the service of Hashem, of a Jew, 
who are similar and counted by the moon on Erev Rosh Chodesh is the completeness of the service of a Jew when he stands at the height of submission similar to the moon which is then concealed and then this leads immediately to the soul ascending to higher level you will be remembered and the union of the Jewish people Malchus the moon and Hashem Zah the sun and likewise also the union of every Jew as an individual and you will be collected one by one with the essence of Hashem as such that they become one existence literally in true unity and they will become one flesh including in the manner of one and only moreover even higher and then the one and only which then certainly there is no possibility for any form of interruption heaven forbid on the contrary there is only the concept of unity and unity at the height of completeness and in addition to the phenomenon in addition to the phenomena of unity between the Jewish people and Hashem in them becoming one flesh there is a second phenomenon and they will be one flesh the outcome that comes from this that there is offspring are born and the offspring of tzaddikim are good deeds including good deeds which are not a separate thing from becoming one flesh rather good deeds through which a Jew with his body and his soul becomes a partner for with Hashem in a matter of unity in all of Hashem's endeavors including and mainly in bringing the true and complete redemption which in order for Hashem to accomplish this in a complete way he so to say needs the assistance of every Jew and specifically as a soul and a body that through our deeds and our service the redemption comes and Hashem so to say should agree moreover he should want and announce that not only did the time arrive for your redemption rather the redemption is already here in a simple sense as we spoke earlier that the gula is an idiom for gilili 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 the revelation of the aloof master of the world in the gola which is accomplished in the service of a jew in exile and the power to reach the union on air rosh hodosh both from the below to above the union of the jewish people with hashem how the jewish people need the assistance of hashem as well as from above to below Hashem with the Jewish people as Hashem so to say needs the assistance of the Jewish people come from the day before it the 28th of the month which is connected to the power of giving of the Torah the content of the third month and especially of the revelation of the inner part of the Torah below as explained above at length through the Torah the union of the Jewish people and Hashem is brought about and the known statement three knots tie with another Hashem the Torah and the Jewish people and each one level upon level hidden and revealed and through the connection of the Jewish people with the Torah and the Jewish people become connected to Hashem to the extent that the Jewish people and Hashem are one even higher than the connection of through Torah which therefore they are called three knots and the connection itself there is two forms and orders as known the revealed part of the Jewish people connects to the revealed part of the Torah and with the revealed part of Hashem and the revealed part of the Jewish people connects to the hidden part of the Jewish people and the hidden part of the Jewish people connects to the revealed part of the Torah and the revealed part of the Torah with the hidden part of Torah and the hidden part of Torah with the revealed part of Hashem and the revealed part of Hashem with the hidden part of Hashem and both of these opinions are the words of the living Hashem we have both manners and aspects together in an alive living Hashem manner in the manner of eternal endurance both are a trifold string three knots of the revealed part the revealed part of the Jewish people the revealed part of the Torah and the revealed part of Hashem as well as the three twined string of the hidden part the hidden part of the Jewish people the hidden part of the Torah and the hidden part of the Hashem and also the three twined string in the second manner and revealed with the hidden and the hidden with the revealed etc such that we have the true union of all three as such that we have all revealed aspects all hidden aspects and all aspects of hidden that are revealed three times three times three as a one and only existence of Yehida to become one with you and the power of this comes from the 20th of Sivan when we have the completeness of three times three times three all these three manners of the unity of the three knots the day that is connected to complete revelation of the power of the giving of the Torah as well as the inner part of the Torah as well as the secrets of the Torah are revealed including in the outmost of the lower hemisphere through which transpires the complete union of the Jewish people with Hashem the union of the Sun and the moon both through the revealed aspects as well as through hidden aspects and through this the unity is also drawn <coughs> in the world both in the revealed part of the world as well as the hidden part of the world including the part of the essence of Hashem that is in it and open is openly revealed 
Moreover, and mainly, and through the revelation of the Ahida, of the soul within every Jew and Jewish, which this is the part of the Moshe, Mashiach in every Jew, and especially in the Jewish people as a whole, when we gather together many times ten in the trifold house, Torah, prayer, and good deeds, there should be the revelation of the general Yehida, Mashiach, and then transpires Yehida to become one with you, the unity of all the matters as one in one and only point which is openly revealed in the time and place of the true and complete redemption, specifically beginning with this specific time and place, until the ultimate perfection and the ultimate truth of all matters of the whole world is revealed that it becomes a dwelling for Hashem in the lowest world. And then we will have the trifold house and its completeness, the third base of Migdash, the Migdash that your hand O oh, Hashem, have established together with the connection of every Jew with his Yehida of his soul that connects him with the general Yehida Mashiach, he shall come and redeem us and lead us upright to our land and the Jewish people go together with the Torah and with the novel Torah insights of Mashiach and the continuation by Hashem. Novel Torah insights will come forth from me, moreover, mainly, literally, immediately. Afterward, the Rebbe Shlita gave, Shlita gave each and every one of the males and females may they live that they were standing in ethology has 50 years and together with a dollar bill to give it or exchange it for tzedakah thank you for watching